Here are the best tips and tricks to get the most out of Apple Card. Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and today, August 20th, the Apple Card is now available to anyone in the US who has an iPhone. They can now freely apply as long as their phone is updated to iOS 12.4. We're not gonna rehash the whole getting started, getting a card, all of that. We're gonna dive in to getting some best tips, tricks, and practices to get the most out of your Apple Card. So let's see if you know all of these tips and tricks in this video. Starting off, let's understand what those colors on your Apple Card actually mean. And when you first get your Apple Card, you may notice that it shows up as stark white, same as the physical titanium card that you'll receive. So why do Apple's marketing images have all those colors on there? Well, those colors actually automatically show up as you make purchases with your Apple Card. If you noticed, as soon as you make your first purchase, there'll be a splash of color on there. The more purchases you make in different categories, it's going to color your card and they actually mean something. So when you look at your card, you know where your money is going. For instance, household goods, things shopping at like Target, those are gonna show up as yellow. Food will add a little bit of orange. Travel expenses, such as flights or hotels, will add some green. Services mix in purple. Transportation adds blue. Movies and entertainment shows up as pink. And health-related expenses show up as red. Understanding what those categories are and those colors can give you more information just by looking at your card so you can see where all of your money is being spent. During the setup process, Apple will ask you if you wanna make Apple Card your default card. Whether or not you choose to do this doesn't matter. You may wanna change it later. You may wanna make another card your default or you may have declined and want to make Apple Pay your default now. So how do you do that? Luckily, it is very easy. On your iPhone, simply go into settings and then go down to wallet and Apple Pay. From there, scroll down and there's an option that says default card. Here you can choose any card, whether it's Apple Card or any of your other Apple Pay cards to be the default. Choose it there and then anytime you make a purchase with Apple Pay, so it could be online on your phone, it could be an in-app purchase or something, it could be actually paying for something at the store with your wallet, your phone. Anytime you go to do that, you can change cards, but the default will be whatever you choose there, be it Apple Pay or Apple Card or something else. Apple Card actually has three different card numbers. There's the one tied to your device when you use Apple Pay, your kind of device ID number. You're also gonna have another number tied to the actual physical Apple Card that you'll receive, so that's a second number. And then your third number is another actual long string of numbers that you use whenever you're using your Apple Card online. So any retailer that doesn't support Apple Pay, you can put in this number. So what happens if you're shopping at a website that's less than reputable and your card number gets stolen or you fall victim to a phishing scam. Luckily, it is very easy to get a new card number. Simply tap on the ellipsis inside of your Apple Card in the Wallet app and tap on card information. From there, you can just request a new card number. It'll replace that one there so it's like a temporary number that automatically gets generated. You get it right away, it's very easy. So if your card number gets stolen online, simply request a new one and you have a new one right away that you can use anywhere where Apple Pay and Apple Card are not accepted. If your Apple Pay or anything like that gets stolen, you don't have to worry about that because there's nothing that can tie it back to you. It's simply a transaction ID number, so you don't have to worry about that information. And if you do lose your Apple Card, your physical Apple Card, that you will need to contact Apple for. Now, speaking of contacting Apple, that's another great tip because you don't have to call in, you could if you want, but you don't have to call in like you do with most other cards. Apple uses business chat, so you can actually message them right from your phone, right in iMessage where all of your other conversations live. You can message Apple, tell them, hey, my card was stolen, or I need to update this. Whatever it's going to be, you can message them, do it on your own time when it's convenient for you. It's a much easier way of managing and using that support interface without having to actually call and get distracted throughout the day. Lastly, Apple makes it really clear how much interest you're gonna be paying for your card. They have the little calculator that estimates that interest based on your payment. But if you don't wanna do manual payments each time, you can also schedule payments. From the same card information page, you can set up an automated payment. You choose how much, whether your entire bill or a specific amount, set the frequency if a specific amount, or you can just pay off your entire bill every single month. And you choose the date that's gonna apply on, when it's due or specific date you have in mind, and then you're done. Tie a bank account to it and every day or every month, whatever you set it as, it'll automatically make that payment for you and you don't have to worry about a thing. Using Apple Card, you can earn one, two, or 3% cash back, depending on how you pay. 
You can get 1% cash back by using the physical titanium card. You can get 2% through any normal retailer when you use Apple Pay, or 3% when you go through Apple. Now that last one is the best way to maximize your rewards of daily cash. Simply move any subscriptions or anything you have in iTunes and App Store to your Apple card. You likely already have subscriptions through the App Store for things like Apple Music, iTunes Match, or maybe in-app purchases. Maybe you pay for things like Showtime, HBO, Hulu, or CBS All Access, and you're paying for those through in-app purchases through Apple TV channels or in the apps themselves. Instead of paying through their websites, if you pay through the App Store and put those onto your Apple Card, you'll get 3% cash back for any of those purchases and subscriptions you already have. So be sure to move anything you already have going through iTunes or the App Store to your Apple Card to earn even more daily cash. So what do you guys think? Do you guys love Apple Card? Did you apply for one? Let us know down below in the comments. If you have any other questions or you want any more great tips and tricks, please let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.